Okay, we are live inside the MPC software, and I'm going to take you really quickly through just time stretching. I get a lot of questions on how to time stretch. Um, it's something that I go over a lot on my one-on-one -on -one video Skype session, so I'm just going to take you through it right here, just so you can understand what time stretching does and how to work it in the MPC uh, X. So what time stretching does is it just takes the sample and it stretches it out or shrinks it to whatever whatever BPM that you would like it to be at. Sometimes when you drag a sample in, it's not the BPM that you want it to be at. So you need to stretch it to the tempo that you want it to. So just for the purposes of this tutorial, I have a sample that's loaded in. It's a nice oriental sample. This is gonna show you guys just how, how I time stretch. The most important thing when you time stretch is you need to pick out a perfect loop. That's the most important thing. That way your beats fall exactly how you want it. So we're gonna start the sample at the beginning. I'm gonna count out a four count, and that's what we're gonna work with. So watch me as I count. And that's why I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna chop it. So let's bring it down. Let's 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 go all the way here. We're gonna stretch it out and then we're gonna do it again and we're gonna chop it right where the four hits. Right here. That's our perfect loop that we have. It just loops over and over in a perfect loop. Just to make sure that we we, uh, we keep everything clean, I'm gonna hit process and I'm going to extract just this loop from the sample. That way all we see is just this loop. Okay, this is just the loop, that's it. So now we're gonna time stretch it. So we're gonna go to process and we're gonna choose time stretch. Right now, the time stretching is at the BPM that is temp that is picking up is 85.66. That's the BPM that the MPC software is picking up on the sample. This is the new BPM that we want to type in. And this is just the ratio of the, the original tempo to the new tempo. It shows you the ratio that you're changing it. So here's the beats. That's what we counted out. So we counted out a four count. But if you look up here, we're working in double time. Instead of 865, we're working in double time. So double time would be double of eight of 8566. So we're gonna count, we're, we're gonna put it in eight instead of four. We counted out four, but we're working in double time. So we're gonna leave this at eight. That way we can keep it in double time. It doesn't matter what time you're working in, you know, standard time, double time, it doesn't matter. This works the same exact way. I just like to work in double time. That's that's just my preference. So now we're gonna time stretch the sample. All you do is just go here and you type in your new tempo. And because we've made a perfect loop, everything should fit. So the new tempo that we would, let's say we wanna slow it down to 60. Okay, we hit do it. And now it time stretched this perfect loop down to 60, it's gonna slow it down. And that's all it does. Very, very simple, very easy. Let's undo that. And then we're gonna go to time stretch again. Let's hit process. We're gonna go back to time stretch and we're gonna change it to, let's say, uh, 40. So we can hear an exaggerated slowdown effect. 40, oh, oh. Okay, and then we're gonna hit do it. Now it's gonna be very slow. That's all that time stretching does. It just takes the sample, expands it, or shrinks it. Let's go undo, and let's speed the sample up. Let's show that one. Okay, back to 885. Let's go here, and we're going to speed the sample up to 100. Let's hit do it. Now it's sped up. So that's time stretching in a nutshell. All it does is it just takes the sample, it either slows it down or it speeds it up to the BPM that you want.
The MPC software is pretty good about detecting the original tempo of the sample. It's pretty good with it. Sometimes it may be off a little bit, so you may have to work when you hit the time stretch and you change the tempo and then you hit do it um, and you listen to the sample. It may be off a little bit sometimes, so you may have to go back in and just adjust it maybe a notch or two, but that's pretty much it. The MPC makes it very easy to get that done.